What's up guys, JV2017 here, bringing you some Black Ops 3 beta gameplay on PlayStation 4. I gotta say, it's very nice to return to Call of Duty and actually enjoy myself. I'm enjoying the hell out of this beta. I really like this game. I don't know if it's the gameplay kind of meshes with my play style or what. I am very much enjoying Black Ops 3 and I'm looking forward to playing it on Xbox One when that beta comes out. But I wanted to upload this gameplay and talk to you guys about two things. First off, this game of Domination is awesome. I got in late, and I believe it was my efforts and someone else's efforts on my team. Someone else had a way better KD than I did, but I believe I played more objective. And we single-handedly turned this game around. This is a huge comeback game. I cut out some of the dull parts, so you didn't have to worry about that. It probably would have been like an 11-minute gameplay if I would kept those in. So, I want to talk about this awesome gameplay. I also want to talk about the Sparrow, because that's what I'm using, this specialist ability, and I love it. And I also want, kind of want to talk about specialists in general and why I think they work. So, anyways, I am using the Sparrow. That is my specialist. My specialist is actually called Outrider, and Outrider has two different abilities. One is, I think it's called Pulse, where you pulse the environment, and it'll show where enemies are on the map. But enemies know they've been pulsed, so that's kind of, you know, a balancing thing there. You can also choose the Sparrow, which is this explosive bow and arrow, this compound bow, which is just so fun to use. And I really think I've kind of nailed down how you're supposed to use this thing, and I want to uh, share those details with you guys. But I love the way this game plays. The hit detection feels on point, and the specialists, I just gotta, I gotta just put my head down and clap for Treyarch, because... I love the way they were able to balance everything. So far, everything feels balanced in terms of specialist. I mean, there's only one that I'm a little worried about, which is the War Machine. It's it's definitely the easiest to use. It's like a close range new tube. If you're not terrible at the game, you're gonna get kills with this thing no matter what. But some of them are genuinely hard to use. The bow and arrow is not, uh, I wouldn't say it's the easiest thing to use. It's a lot more of a feel thing. Um, and being lucky, I suppose, as well. But I was able to build a streak right there, as you guys saw, and get all of my streaks and my Sparrow. Also, this is how you don't use a Hellstorm missile. I don't know why I shot that. There were no little red, uh, you know, circles in the area at all. Um, there are a lot of things you can do with the Hellstorm, but you most likely don't want to unleash it that early. That was an example of how you not, how you should not do that. Okay, so right here, I've got my Sparrow. This is a great way to use the Sparrow. You always want to draw this thing. Almost always. When you have the Sparrow, don't keep it undrawn. Like, when you can sprint almost around with the Sparrow drawn and ready to fire and unleash. I love the way it works. As you can tell, I was able to get about three kills, which is pretty good with one of those. I would say the average is probably one. Maybe not even one kills with your specialist ability. And the thing is... They come around every so often that the game gives you opportunities to get your specialist ability and, you know, really wreck. Also, pay attention to this Hellstorm. My final missile went up and then like three people spawned and it ended up killing two people. So there's also like an advantage to firing your Hellstorm missile earlier um, because they do track. So Hellstorm is a great perk, sorry, kill streak in this game. It's fantastic. I really like it. But anyways, another thing with the Sparrow, I'm about to pull it out again, is that it has a very big hitbox. So it's kind of generous. Don't be afraid to fire as many arrows as you want. And you can also cancel your shot. As you can tell, I just canceled mine right there. I don't have my Sparrow drawn, so I'm not really... Oh, but I know where everyone is, so that's an exception to the rule here. But yeah, like you don't have to have a direct impact to get a Sparrow kill. It's a little harder when you don't, but just keep in mind that... You need to fire as many arrows as possible because you're on a timer with the Sparrow. So, I guess kind of to recap my tips for the Sparrow, always keep that baby drawn. Especially if you don't have a UAV that shows where everyone is at all times. Also, it's a one-shot melee. Remember that. So, don't be afraid to bring the Sparrow in close quarters. Also, you don't have to draw it all the way when you're sh shooting the Sparrow. So, okay, watch this, guys. I capped this final thing with a teammate. They're at 198 points. And then I pull out my Hellstorm, they're about to cap C, and you will see what happens. And I was able to get that Sparrow right there, that was exciting. Actually, I think, yeah, I got killed first. So, they're hopping on C, they're about to cap that flag and end this game. It's already really close, and then I come in with the Hellstorm missile, and boom, quad! Anyways, guys, 
I'm really enjoying the beta as you can tell. And let me know what you guys think of the beta. I am super excited for Black Ops 3 now. I already was excited. I'm really awesomely excited for Zombies 2. I can't even speak straight. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know what you think about the beta. And uh, I hope to bring you more gameplay very, very soon. This was a 34-9 and 9 kind of objective domination game comeback victory. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you all next time. Peace.